why living an unbalanced life is dangerous, and what can you do about it. Many people find it difficult to find balance between their work and personal lives, but living an unbalanced life is dangerous. It can affect your personal health, put a strain on your personal relationships, and even decrease your productivity. In this presentation, we will discuss some of the things that are affected by an unbalanced life and what you can do about it. What is at risk? When your work and personal life is out of balance, there are five very important assets that you are putting at risk. We'll talk about those below. Your personal health is at risk. Working too much and the lifestyle that goes with it is bad for you because you typically do not take care of yourself. Your family is at risk. Working too much can drive a wedge between you and your spouse. Not only that, but you also have very little time to spend with your children, which can have detrimental effects later in their lives. Your friends are at risk. Working too much keeps you from spending time with your friends. Relationships take effort, and you cannot invest that effort if you're never with them. Your personal productivity is at risk. There's only a certain amount of time each day that you're able to be highly productive. When you work too much, you decrease that time. After a certain point, the number of hours you're working has nothing to do with your productivity levels. Your example is at risk. If you're spending lots of extra time at work, the people who you supervise will feel like they have to keep up. Most of them will not be able to. What can you do to balance your life? Now that you know what you're putting at risk by living an unbalanced life, let's take a look at a few ways that you can bring some balance. Acknowledge. Take some time to examine your life, how you feel, and your state of mind. Be honest with yourself. Pay close attention to the areas of your life that you feel are being neglected. Examine. Pay attention to your focus and notice if you're more focused on the internal or the external. Then determine if there are areas where you would like to find more balance. Set goals. Determine what areas of your life that you would like to have balance. Take the time to write those down. Make a plan. Take the time to create a list of things that you'd like to get done in order to achieve your goals. List them by tasks that need to be done daily, weekly, and monthly. Take note of anything you've tried in the past and whether or not it worked. If it did not work, how can you do it differently? Take time to reflect. Think about your most important accomplishment and how you were able to meet that goal. Consider how you dealt with anxieties, fears, negative self-talk, worries, and doubts. How do you feel about reaching that goal despite all of that? Prepare yourself. Think about things that might come up and get in the way of sticking to your plan. This includes the fears, doubts, anxieties, negative self-talk, and worries. Decide what you'll say to yourself to keep from losing focus on your goal. Find an accountability partner. Is there anyone that you can reach out to that will keep you motivated? supported and focused when you get distracted by things. Find someone who's willing to help you challenge yourself and to celebrate when you do make progress. Conclusion While you might not think it's a big deal to live an unbalanced life, it is dangerous to several aspects of your life. However, there are things that you can do to turn it around. You can find balance if you're willing to work at it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.